Good morning everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Heating and Reddish Walkers uh, video blog. That's a bit scary. <laughs> so today I'm going to be uh, walking out on my own today. No friends. Uh, but I'm going to try and incorporate a few of the walks uh, and I got the idea off uh, Suze who posted one last night so thanks Suze. Uh, as you can see we're starting off at uh, Reddish Vale. Well, I've just started off from our house, so it's just over a mile to here. Down into Reddish Vale, uh, through the Vale to Tesco's, uh, pick up the uh, route through Stockport, the river, uh, along the river, Heaton Mersey, Heaton Moor, uh, back out through Highfield, hopefully. So hopefully looking somewhere between 10 and 12 miles. Um, the good news is I've already saved somebody's life this morning. A guy nearly got run over by a bus, not looking where he was going. One mile in and we've got drama. Uh, so, anyway, we're off. Uh, we're going to go down the, the vale, see how uh, active the birds are. One of the great things about coming out early morning is so much bird song, it's really quiet. You also get to see some great scenery. Almost looks like a leaf pattern on the green down there just in front. That's a Reddish Vale golf course. And that, I would say, would be a great little slide in the snow. A little bit of snow from last night, most of it's gone. You always find something expected or unexpected, like a nice little archway from this tree that's obviously got a bit heavy or it's come down. But anyway, underneath the arch as we go. I came here last week on our walk with uh, Rachel and this is where we walked up to the disused railway line, the Tiviotdale line. And we went left to Brindington Tunnel. Today we're going into Stockport Town Centre heading towards Didsbury. Uh, we're going down to Heaton Mersey, Heaton Moor. I love this part of the path. It's just coming towards the end of Reddish Vale. Then you've got this wooded area down here on your right, which is just absolutely filled with birch or silver birch trees. And because all the leaves have come off, you get a great sense of being in the, in the woods, which is pretty much where we are. But it's great, absolutely great. So we've come out onto a path that I've never trodden before, 
which is a bit from the bottom of Tiviot Way heading out in towards Lancashire Hill Flats in front I'm now at the back of Meadow, uh, Meadow Mill lots of work going on so yeah this is a new little path for me and I'm also trying not to be outdone with the fungus kings and queens and I'm going to try and find a little bit today so I'm keeping my little beady eyes open lots of moss not a lot of fungus I just realised that uh, in my last video I used the word so and I thought I'd done pretty well <laughs> to get away with it so far uh, but anyway, I spy with my BDI I don't know what it is it's very tidy and very hidden in there a little bit of fungi very nice, I feel quite happy You can see how high the river was uh, the other night with all the sand uh, and all the washed up here. The other thing is uh, once you've seen one, you can't stop seeing them. Find myself some more. I think I'm going to be a uh, fungus king. I very much doubt it. We're now directly underneath the M60 motorway at Stockport where the River Tame is coming around and that is the start of the Mersey and the River Goit still in fast flow Thankfully, we still have a shopping trolley and another. We're down into Stockport now at the uh, in between Asda and Sainsbury's metro just behind us and the river's obviously come down quite a bit and you can see the debris and destruction but it's completely taken all the banking away some very lucky people over there not to lose more than they did really For those who have not been down to this park before, uh, these are plaques to commemorate the people who lost their lives on HMS Stockport, which was a sea rescue ship. Uh, it went out to help and rescue people who had been attacked or been bombed, um, and that itself also got bombed and sank, and these are little plaques to commemorate and remember. HMS Stockport. Oh no, sorry, not HMS, SS Stockport. So, as you will know, we are now down into Stockport, Mersey Way. It's pretty deserted. Not sure of the time. Half past nine. Saturday morning and uh, that pretty much sums everything up going out of business everything must go it's a bit of a shame really for Stockport but the pandemic has certainly hit a lot of people So we're 
into Stockport. Clock, it's gone. Bandstand, gone. Whole signs of life, gone. 9.30 Saturday morning, this used to be absolutely bustling. Wonder if all the other town centres are the same. And what is the future? We come out the other side and we have the start of a little bit of snow. Despite what's happened and uh, how things have turned out, the famous 192. <laughs> I do actually still love my town. It's uh, a great place to be. I think we can safely say we are one in Stockholm. Probably one of the most famous set of steps in Stockport after Ellis Lowry was photographed at the top of these uh, take us down into what is now a derelict bus station walking through the bus station is uh, like a blast from the past a little history, a memory when we used to come down here courting that was snogging to you younger kids You never really appreciated what you had. Just uh, some great historical buildings. <laughs> the snow's really coming down now. Uh, anyway, you can clearly see the dividing line between the old viaduct and the new viaduct which is why I always say there's actually two viaducts. Uh, the first one was built in 1840 and the second part, or this side, was built 1888. So 48 years later, they've done a pretty amazing job of matching everything up. Well done. Yes, it's snowing in Stockport. So we've walked through the town centre now and uh, just come out to, as you can see, the bottom end of Heaton Lane, where Quick Fit is. Going to cross over the road there and then follow the Mersey back down through Cheadleaf Gorgy Bank. <laughs> Cheadleaf Gorgy Bank, uh, Heaton Mersey. Uh, there we go. Oops, the daisies. Should watch what I'm doing, really. I love this this little walk. It's incorporated a few of the walks. British Fields to Tesco's, a bit of Stockport heritage. Probably pick up a bit of the River Ramble as well. So we're uh, on the river path, just coming back underneath the M60. Stockport behind me, Heaton Mersey. Whew, in front of me. You've just seen we've had quite a heavy downpour of snow. Which was uh, fun, I suppose. If you like that kind of thing. It's not for me.
it just make it look good looks clean onward we continue Some guys feeling very brave, swimming against the current up the Mersey, doing a good job. So we just come up to the top of the cobbled road, top of Vale Road, where the crown is. Oh, <laughs> uh, crown in, I think this is at the top. Oh, it's been a great walk. It's beautiful cottages. This is the main railway line from Stockport into Manchester when we passed over the uh, viaduct a bit further down the line that's looking up towards Manchester Piccadilly oh, Love and Jim is the next station and looking down in towards Stockport Crunch under your feet. Oops, and a bit slippy downhill. <laughs> We've incorporated a couple of the walks today, as you know. This is the back end of the green walk where we'd normally go down there and then uh, turn left into the Georgian Dragon and finish the walk. I'm going to go this way. Hopefully pick up the path around the back of the meadows through Highfield onto the loop uh, from home. Hopefully where there will be a nice bacon buttery. We managed to make it into Highfield Country Park and as you can see it's still trying to snow. I'm going to check out the, uh, the new walking path to see if they have resurfaced it a little bit I love this little part down here which is like the the bee garden the bee sanctuary it's really good what they're doing down there Ooh, watch where you're going faster Highfield Country Park the snow is really coming down heavy again. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> 